What's the molecular formula for this compound? C8H16, C8H18, C9H18, C9H18O. This molecule is presented in bond line structure. And the thing about bond line structures is that carbon and hydrogen are implied, but any other element must have their chemical symbols written in for that element to be present in the compound. Thus, by definition, C9H18O cannot be the correct molecular formula because if oxygen were present in this molecule, we would see the O chemical symbol somewhere in this structure, and we don't. So C and H are the only elements present in this molecule. Now, we have to dissect this bond line structure more or less in this order. We find the number of carbons, and then from that we find the number of hydrogens, and together we figure out what the molecular formula is. So how many carbons does this molecule have, this organic molecule? So the answer is eight, because carbons are represented as ends and bends. Here we have five bends and three ends. That also means that C is wrong, because it would imply nine carbons instead of eight, so the only answer choices left are C8H16 and C8H18. So the question is, how many hydrogen atoms do we have? Because that's the differentiating factor. Well, to answer that, we need to use our carbons, so let's write them in. And one thing that you must know about carbon is that it has four bonds total. But hold on a second. It looks like this carbon right here only has one bond, and that this one only has two. In fact, none of these carbons appear to have four bonds. That's where the hydrogens come into play, because the number of hydrogens each carbon has is simply what makes up the difference to give it four bonds total. So for example, if this carbon appears to only have one bond, it actually does have four bonds. It's just that to find the number of hydrogens, we do four minus one. So that carbon is going to have three hydrogens, but this is gonna be two hydrogens. I just highlighted a different and focused on a different carbon when I made the slide. <laughs> and we're gonna do this calculation for every single carbon to figure out how many hydrogens it has. Fill in all the hydrogens, and then we get the final Lewis structure, and we know that C8H18 is the correct answer because there are literally eight carbons and 18 hydrogens. So that means that B is our answer. That's the correct molecular formula.